All right. So now that we have a ton of different AI coding tools out there, creating a full stack mobile app or a web app has become dead simple. And today in this video, I will walk you through the entire process of creating a full stack web application, which includes all the complex stuff, including the backend, the front end, APIs, authentication, databases, and you name it. And by the end of this video, you'll be fully capable enough to create a app or let's say a web app entirely using AI. And yeah, if that sounds interesting, without wasting any further ado, let's jump straight in. All right, so this right here is lovable.dev and this is going to be the platform that we'll use today to create a full stack web application. Now lovable.dev is one of many different AI coding platforms out there. So apart from lovable.dev, we have a lot of other AI coding tools like Rapid Agent, uh, let's say uh, bolt.new, bolt.diy, which is actually a open source version of bolt.new. Then we have tempolabs.ai, then we have data button, we have, let's say V0, Cursor, Windsurf, we have a lot of different tools. Now the steps to make a full stack application across all these different tools are pretty much the same. So the process flow is exactly the same. And depending on the platform or let's say the different AI platform, there'll be like slight changes here and there. But today in this video, we are going to use lovable.dev. But if you want to, you can go ahead and use pretty much any platforms out there. So the flow will be pretty much the same. And the first thing that you gotta do is to head over to lovable.dev or any other similar coding platform and sign up for a new account. And once you're there, you will find a input box asking you what you want to build. So in this context, let's say I want to create a clone of Trello, the popular project management tool where users could add tasks, boards and drag and drop uh, tasks and items between boards. And that is the kind of application that I want to build today. So I'll go ahead and say create a Trello like project management tool with Kanban boards or users could create boards and add task and drag and drop them between boards. All right. So it says create Trello like project management tool with Kanban boards where users could create boards and add tasks and drag and drop them, them between boards. So this is the initial prompt that it will give. And uh, depending on what kind of app you want to build, you can go ahead and give a customized prompt in here. And now that I have a prompt, I'll go ahead and click on the send button. And now the AI will go ahead and take all the inputs from us and start writing the code. So let's wait for it to complete writing the code and we can take it up from there. So as you can see, Lovable has started uh, you know, writing the code and it is installing all these packages for the drag and drop functionality. Basically, it is using the React beautiful DND uh, package. And you can see all these, you know, uh, styling with Tailwind and all that code. Okay. So Lovable has started writing the code and we'll wait till it is done. All right. So seems like Lovable is done writing the code and it took about hardly one minute. So let's wait for it to spin up the preview and we'll take it up from here. All right, so this right here is the preview of the Kanban board style Trello clone that Lovable has created for us. So we have a couple of pre-made boards in here and I should be able to drag and drop items between the board. And, and every time I move an item, I also get a toast message to the bottom right. So that's a cool one. And now if I want to add a new task, I can click on this plus button and I can add a new task. But the problem is that I'm unable to edit the content inside of this, let's say a uh, particular task, right? I can only add a new task and it says new task and I don't find a way to edit it. Next up, I also don't find the option to add additional boards. So we'll go ahead and say that. I want the button to add new boards and edit the content of the tasks as well. Okay, so I can go ahead and hit enter and let's wait for it to, you know, update the app and do all the required changes. All right, so it says I'll help you add functionality to create new boards, edit uh, task content and all that. So let's wait. And by the way, this is going to be the interface of lovable.dev and towards the left side, you will find a chat interface where you can go ahead and converse with the AI and tell about all the requirements. And towards the right side, you can find a real time preview of the app that you're building. And you can also go ahead and attach an image. Let's say you want to build a landing page and you have a design, let's say a mockup and you can upload the same and ask the AI to take inspiration from that or let's say convert it into code similarly you can also use this select option to let's say if you click on the select option you'll be able to select individual items within your preview and you can go ahead and let's say select it and as you can see the heading is now selected and you can go ahead and ask AI to do some changes and now that particular change will be only focused on that particular element that you selected 
Okay, so that's uh, pretty much it. And you can also go ahead and move between default and chat only mode. So let's say you want to chat or let's say plan together with AI, something that you want to add to your app and you don't know if it's a good change to do. So you can go ahead and select, let's say chat only option and you can go ahead and ask the question and AI will not make any change to the code base. So that's for this option. So I'll put it as default and also let's say deselect it. And as you can see, we now have a new option to add a board and upon clicking the same, it is asking me to enter the board name. So board one, click on add. And here we have the new board and let's next, let's say I want to add a new task, but okay. I can't find the option to edit the task. All right. So next up, I'll go ahead and say, add the functionality to edit the tasks and also uh, give the users the option to set a name when adding new task. All right, so I'll go ahead and hit enter. And the, in a similar fashion, you can go ahead and incrementally start adding new features to your app. And all you gotta do is to tell about all your requirements to the AI and the AI will do the rest. Now let's just wait for it to complete the coding. All right, so it says looking at the current code, I noticed that the task editing functionality is already implemented. So I went ahead and did a check and we can find uh, the cursor changes to this, uh, you know, pointer icon when I move over to the side. But the thing is that we do already have this editing option. So you can click on this option and let's say blah, blah, blah stuff. And it actually works. But the thing is that I'm unable to view that icon. So I'll have to ask the AI to sort of fix that. And again, if I click on the plus button now, I should be seeing a pop-up where I can add, let's say the task name, task one, click on add, drag and drop and all that works. Now let's just say, I don't see the edit mm, icon on the task. Seems like the color is white and can't be seen. Okay, and I'll hit enter. And I want, I basically want the AI to make that button visible so that I can click on it and edit the content. So let's wait. And again, every time you update a task, you can also find, let's say a task updated toast message as well. So let's wait. Okay. Seems like the opacity is set to zero by default. Cool. Uh, but even when I hover, I can't find it in which ways. Let's see. Okay. Now that the pencil icon is visible, I can click on it and edit the content. Cool, right? Next up, let's say I want to add user authentication to my app and I also want to store all the content in a database so that the changes will be persistent and only users who are logged in or let's say signed up can access the core functionality of our app. So I'll go ahead and say implement user auth in our app and I can hit enter. And as for implementing user authentication and databases, uh, Lovable is using Superbase. So you first need to create a new Superbase account. And as you can see, it is asking us to connect to Superbase. All right. So if this is your first time, all you gotta do is to click on the Superbase icon and here you will find an option that says connect. So all you gotta do is to click on the connect button and it will open up Superbase authentication page and you can go ahead and authorize so, uh, Lovable to access all the content within Superbase and also create new projects or edit new projects on behalf of you. And once that uh, authorization part is done, when you hover over or let's say click on the Superbase option, you'll be able to find this organization and to create a new project, all you gotta do is to click on this create new project option and it will directly take you to this uh, Superbase uh, project creation page and you can go ahead and give the project a name. I'll go ahead and say Trello and put a database password, select a random place, let's say this one and click on create new project. Now, depending on your use case, you can go ahead and give a project name, a strong password and wait for it to load. Now setting up the project will take around two to three minutes. So I'll wait till it is done. All right. So as you can see, we have created our Superbase project and I'll head back to Lovable and let's click on Superbase and I'll go ahead and highlight this one option. And as you can see, we can find our new Superbase project here. So I'll go ahead and click on the connect button and click on connect again. And now Lovable will go ahead and establish a connection to Superbase and it will now have access to all the content within Superbase and it will go ahead and start integrating authentication or I will go ahead and say implement user auth and hit enter. So now Lovable tells me that, okay, they need to create a new table to store all the user profiles. So it is giving us the code to run in the SQL editor. So we are creating a new uh, table. We are enabling a couple of RLS policies, creating a trigger and function. So I can click on the apply changes option. And now Lovable will take care of everything. You don't have to copy and go to Superbase and paste it in the SQL editor. Everything will be done for you by Lovable itself. So let's wait. So it says I have implemented a complete authentication system with the following features. 
okay so let me see not included okay seems like we have a error so i'll go ahead and click on try to fix option and lovable will go ahead and fix the error itself so let's wait all right seems like it's done and as you can see it has automatically redirected us to the authentication page and now only if a person is authenticated will they be allowed to use our app so i can click on the sign up option and before that i might actually want to go to authentication sign in slash sign up auth providers and i want to disable this option that says confirm email and i can click on save and now if i head back i should be able to create a new account so let me put my uh, email and let's say a random password click on sign up there you have it i'm logged in so i created a new account and i'm logged in as well and if i head back to superbase and let's say users and refresh i should be able to find that account in here and as you can see the new user is in here the email and pretty much everything is in place now that we have user authentication part done and ready okay we also have a sign out button so i clicked on that one and we got signed out let me try to log in again okay so we are logged in next step i want to make sure that all the tasks that a user add to his or her account should be persistent and the same should be stored into the database so i'll go ahead and say create a table to keep the tasks and boots persistent and i can hit enter and now lovable will go ahead and create a new table in our database to keep track of all the tasks and boards and all that so every time a user logs out or let's say uh, access our app from a different device so they should be able to see all the projects on all the uh, things and as you can see lovable has created a couple of tables and rls policies and triggers and all that so i can click on the apply changes option and lovable will go ahead and create a new table so right now we only have okay so as you can see we have boards and tasks uh, table in here and okay so let's wait for it to complete coding the same all right so seems like all the changes are done so let's wait for it to load and seems like we have a error now so let me try to refresh it again oh no so actually we have a error so i can click on the try to fix option and now the ai will go ahead and fix all the problem itself so let's wait all right so seems like lovable has fixed the error for ourselves and okay so for the first time when a user logs into his or her account this is the kind of screen that they'll see and they'll be asked to create a new board so i can click on the create board option okay it says board created successfully okay so we have a template basic template and now the user should be able to go ahead and let's say add task one so i'm able to edit all the task okay the task is edited maybe add a new task task new okay i can add new task and also drag and drop it between boards as well right everything seems like working and now if i head back to superbase and i go to my boards dashboard i should be able to view all the uh, let's say boards that we created so here we have the board and let's say we go to the task section mm, okay all right so we have all these tasks so i edited uh, one task that is task one and also added a new one so task new and also the status you can see to do in progress and all the details now the thing is that every time the user refreshes uh, this particular page they'll be able to see all these changes that they have made so we can have uh, we have the task one in here task new and pretty much everything is in place so so far we have implemented authentication databases we have created a cool front end and that's pretty much how simple it is to create a full stack web application using AI. Now, obviously, I know this is like a basic version of the app because, you know, you can just go ahead and give the same prompt or let's say a customized prompt for your requirement. And you can go ahead and keep incrementally adding new features. So as you saw, this is how simple it is to create a full stack web application using AI. And in this context, lovable.dev. But the steps and the flow is pretty much exactly the same for all other AI coding platforms out there. So if you want to use Cursor, Winsor for, let's say, Bolt.com, new or any other platform you can go ahead and follow the exact same process and you should be able to build your dream app without any coding knowledge so that's ai coding assistance for you so i've shown you how you can create a trello like clone using ai now you can go ahead and give your requirements and all the features that you want to include within your app and go ahead and create a customized app using ai so i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe to the galaxy ai channel for more interesting content and i'll see you in the next one